All right. Hey, since I started subbing to your stream, I can seed faster and have more fun. Here's some base of said, Yeah, right, right, beard. Like life is life is too short. Magic's supposed to be a game we play for fun, so concede the ones that aren't fun. That's my motto. Um, especially in modern, right? Like modern's got a ton of games, just like you don't have a chance. All right. Anywho, hey, Reverend Dude, thank you for the brand new Prime support. Thank you for shipping that this way this month. Welcome, folks. Got almost 200 people in here already. Playing some standard today. Tuesday's all standard all the time. So we've got uh, some blue, black, splash, uh, some green control here to start the day. So we've got uh, Vrask Relic Seeker and Assassin's Trophy as cards that we're playing today. Um, we often talk about how when you're making changes to decklist, you want to kind of have a goal for those changes and like have good reasons for the changes that you're making. And with that in mind, this is a viewer submitted deck list, but I do actually like the idea of splashing green into um, into blue black control. Uh, one of the things I found the blue black list tend to struggle a little bit with is not only problem permanence that both Vraska and Assassin's Trophy can deal with, but also um, just having a Planeswalker that can generate a lot of card advantage is something I found blue black wanting. I kind of um, want to trade maybe Tezzeret and straight blue black, but I definitely think Frasca is a more powerful planeswalker overall. And the ability for Assassin's Trophy to just like pick off random purple permanent seems very strong. So I'm interested to see how this goes. A Dream Eater is a card I found a little bit lackluster in the past, but one as a utility type card is probably fine. Those like bouncing random problem permanent seems, seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, Jaw, you just, you just spend money. You can you can free to play it, but like if you're an adult, that makes like, even if you're not even if you have a minimum wage job, like you're better off working your job and like just giving Wizards of the Coast some money so you can play the cards that you want. Unless unless you enjoy grinding or really enjoy limited, just like shortcutting it and like dumping some dollars in is the best way to best way to have at it. From uh, my experience, putting in my initial in, my initial amount of money and then other people talking about their money as well, it seems like about a hundred bucks gets you most even the three color decks. The thing that kind of determines the cost of decks on Magic Arena is um, how many rares they have in them, rares and mythics. So decks that have more mythics will have will be more expensive. Oh, oh, hold on. So for whatever reason, um, thank you for the reminder. Whatever reason, the deck, I need to file a bug report. The Deckmaster overlay disables Stream Decker when I start, but I can turn it on and it works fine, so. Yeah, Duckmaster is functional. I had uh, one of our wonderful subs here uh, helped me uh, get it compiled for Linux. It just needed a couple, a couple of little massages to move, remove the Windows specific bits. Yeah, the the latest um, pirates list on my website has uh, four thief in the seventy five. I think with three in the main. I haven't had a chance to test Rune Raider yet, but it's on my list of cards to try before before Milwaukee. Uh, Deckmaster has some bits that work on the phone, but not all of it. I'm not sure exactly. They mulligan 2-6. Okay. Uh, I'm missing double blue, but I think I can keep this hand on the draw with double trophy. Like, double trophy is going to give me some time to not die here, ideally. And, uh, it's a tough nut. All right, so I think I'm just going to play the overground tomb tap here. I probably don't need to trophy anything right away here. We don't hit a ritual of soon. We're probably going to be in a little bit of trouble. This start is really annoying for us. Because, like, both of these uh, make a 1-1 one, one when they die. I think I'm just supposed to take this hit again here. Maybe I'm supposed to just... I really don't want to ramp them because there's a chance they have bigger spells in the deck. Yeah, it does everything. You can pop the... When there's cards in the graveyard, you can pop the graveyard's art as well. You can click on my deck and see what cards are remaining in my deck. It's really... The, the future... The future is Deckmaster, and the future is now. Hey, Isla Blues. Isla Blues, thank you very much for the... Brand new prime support there. That is really unfortunate. I think we're basically just dead here. 
Is this 811? Yeah. Yeah, I'm basically just dead. Hand was real, real bad against an aggressive deck. And the fact that I didn't have my extra blue to play the Sabotage. It's like boarding all my Doom Blades and my Contempt. Thought Erasure seems fine. Um, I think with four Chemistry's Insight and Notion, I actually trim my disinformation campaigns in matchups like this. Uh, they're actually already a sub Larnix. Do I want some amount of counter spells in my deck? I don't hate negate. Is negate better than just like leaving some sabotage in my deck? How many blue sources do I have? I have, I have 12, 15. I'm a, I'm a little light on blue. Banalia and reinforcements. Yeah, I guess that's true. A snap cryptic, three months of fun and hug land. They keep up the great content. Thank you for the three months of support. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Hmm. I guess Eldest Reborn isn't particularly good here. I think that's probably a fine swap. Honestly, I could see just boarding in some Carnage Tyrants here because I kind of like just like being able to like end the game. Like, and it just looks like a big butt that like gets in the way. This hand is great. All lands come into play on tap two after this first one. This is a much better curve against what they have going on. Yeah, like if this was a Carnage Tyrant, would I would I be happier? I think so. We'll see. We'll see how things end up lining up here. That card is so good. Um, I'm gonna leave an Ocean Rain on top here. I think I can afford to play that on three. They're gonna go Knight on two, and then probably Knight on, and then I'll go Notion Rain. They'll go Knight on three, and then I'll clean the board with Ritual of Soot. in for those, right? I guess the scatter's not very good. I guess, actually, I'm gonna bin, I could, I think I'm just gonna bin the Doom Whisperer, because it gives my Eldest Reborn something to do. I'm actually gonna bin both. He's having, having the big creature my bin means I can play this out proactively. I really like Thought Erasure. I think it is exceedingly well balanced. Very, very happy with a two mana discard spell that also like has some impact. Like it's two mana, so it's not obnoxious like Thought Seize and stuff like that, but it it gives you some balance in the backswing of giving you that little bit of surveil, which is great. And the fact that it's two color means it can't go into everywhere. Well, that is, well, that's a bag of dicks. All right. Um... Well, shit. Um, hey, Crime in Stereo. Thank you for the five month reset. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. So I could, they actually can't play this card out of their hand, right? So I just like slam the Doom Whisperer. I was thinking like, I don't want to play the Doom Whisperer because they have Conclave Tribunal, but that's actually not true because they can't cast this while they have Experimental Frenzy. Sorry, it took me, it took me a moment because I was like, I don't want to play this out into this Conclave Tribunal, but that actually doesn't matter. Memorial to Folly Suite here. I'm just going to go ahead and play that. I'm actually just going to start racing. Their deck doesn't have a lot of haste stuff in it. Like their only thing with haste is the, uh, the heroic reinforcements. And I can negate that. Which actually sets me to curve up really well here. I can negate something this turn. If they don't give me something to negate, I can Chemistry's Insight. And then the following turn, I can Eldest Reborn plus play. Plus play Hinterland Harbor. Maybe I just want to Eldest Reborn now. Just like work towards my Doom Whisperer now. It's almost Halloween. Time to get the free candy ready for the Children's Going Hot Sketchy Man and White Fan. That's user, user name checks out. User name checks out. Um, what's it called? Declan woke me up this morning, and even though he's sick, he asked me if today was, was candy day, and I was just like, no, Declan, not today. Not today, little fat child. This 
pretty good. We're going to be having more standard days moving forward, extras. I think I'm going to be moving... Um, I'm going to be moving modern back to just Mondays and Wednesdays. And Tuesday, Wednesday night, and Friday are going to be... Going to be standard moving forward. You want it refrigerated? All right, that's Nebraska's Contempt, and then Thought Erasures that don't have text. So... Yes, I am going to GP Milwaukee. Yeah, Arena, Arena is very, very good. I unfortunately am only on seven mana here. It does still surveil. I think I'd rather leave up a negate here just in case they flip a removal spell off the top. I have to pump the brakes here at this point. I think people just like an underdog. I'm like, Saltai is like consistently an underdog color. Sitting with a mild plague of my own, pretending to do homework. Thanks to Gribby, something else to do. Thanks for the, thanks for the uh, the biddies, extreme gamer. I'm at thirteen. I can block here and take eleven. I think I'm supposed to block here, take eleven, and cast Chemister's Insight this turn and try and hit another Ritual Assault. I think is what's supposed to happen. That's an assassin's trophy. All right, so trophy means I'm gonna go ahead and kill this marshal. Marshal, marshal, marshal. Oh, this probably is a Dauntless bodyguard attached to it, doesn't it? Loose. I realized too late. Now, I think contempting the marshal is playing to not lose. I think trying to draw a, uh, trying to draw so is playing to win. I mean, you're kind of here for the beginning of the stream. We've only been live for 12 minutes. That is not a ritual set. Uh, I guess I can... I can draw a land set here. And are my favorite modern decks. You can find all of my favorite modern decks on my website. Click modern decks at the top. There's a whole bunch of them up there. Modern's got a lot going on in it. I mean, to be fair, blue black would have been just as dead to that frenzy as Sultai was. I don't think we lost that game because we were Sultai. We lost that game because, uh,. Like, our, our control deck just didn't line up on what they're doing. The White Red Aggro deck's very good. We played the White Red Aggro deck on stream the other day, and it felt quite fantastic. The Sultai Trash Master. Uh, the current ranking system on Magic Arena is basically meaningless. It's, uh, it's Fubard. Yeah, yeah, in fact, being Sultai would have given us an out to beating the Experimental Frenzy if we'd have found it sooner. They're going to have events and MTGA. Like, yeah, based on what they what they implied, it sounds like that's going to become a regular thing. I've been live for 10 minutes, uh, MTG Burn player. It's funny to me how many people watch a lot of Twitch and just have no idea how the viewer numbers work for Twitch. 
Am I considering white red aggro for the invitational? Maybe I, I might just like play kill people decks in both formats. I'm definitely playing elves in modern, so playing another kill you deck in standard probably not a terrible idea. I realize that I have some free Jack Ryan dollars courtesy of Amazon. Thanks, Overlord Bezos. Thank you, Sketchy Man. Yeah. Yep. Ali streamed a bunch of hex stuff too back in the day when I was doing a lot of that. Uh, I think this is just a chemist's insight turn. I don't really want to just con uh, set these two things. Yeah, my first hand was just like really bad against aggro. Has the white red deck been good for you, Nibir? That deck was really sweet when we played it. Seems really powerful. Hopefully they just like play out a bunch more things that died a ritual of soot here and we just like clean the board up. It's a big boy. Um, I think I'm going to let this happen. And then I'm going to go ahead and chemistry's insight here to try and hit some land drops. And then hopefully we hit an untapped land and can go trophy plus hold up sabotage. That's incredibly unfortunate. All right, I'm going to get a little bit greedy here. And I'm going to go ahead and... Notion Rain. I need I need to hit a land this turn. Alright, I'm gonna bin this Eldest. I have to shock to do this, so our health total is getting a little bit hammered here. I'm not sure I'm a fan of this card. I feel I feel like I feel like the way this deck is constructed, I've got too many draw cards in it. Like I've got Notion Rains, I've got Chemistry's Insights, and I've got uh, Disinformation Campaigns. And it feels like there's a lot of there's a little bit too much do nothing. No, the kids are homesick again today. Hopefully today we'll get them over the hump. The reason why I started late because Christy, Christy's upstairs with them now. She took off work again, but because her, her, she has a real, she has a normal job, so she has PTO. Um, she had to run to the store before I started. The green stompy decks have been okay off and on. Uh, negative. That's a Braska, yep. Like, I'm just calling it like I see it, Klets. All right, so this turn's actually pretty decent for us, right? Like, I'm at 10, but I can I can contempt this and and thought erasure them. And then I'm only taking five on board, so I'm going to end up at seven, but then I'm going to have rituals to clean up. Hey, Karen Zhu. Kar Karen Zhu, thank you for the 11 months. Welcome back. I think I just take the find here. Because that's going to help them rebuild after I clean things out. Yeah, as a parent, you're basically always sick. I don't I don't call them plague 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 carriers in jest. I call them plague carriers because I just uh, it doesn't really matter if they make another token because I'm going to I'm going to do this next turn anyways. Holding, in fact, holding up mana here to bluff could discourage them from playing the Doom, Doom Whisper, which is nice. I think I'm technically not bluffing. I've got the Sinister Sabotage I could theoretically fire off. Yeah, like if they just go like Jade Light, Jade Light here, that would be so good for me. Perfect. Resolves. Yeah, second Vraska is another reason to actually hold it there. So yeah, so like thinking on it more, I actually want to want to not not use my contempt right away. There's some bits towards the Bant Fog deck. Thank you, Mr. Missouri. I appreciate it. That deck was sweet. Ugh, that one's really good. Get her out of here. We're at eight. Uh, untapped land would be absurd here, so I can hold up counter spell. Perfect. It's actually actually ends up working out really well, huh? So I get to I get to clean the board out here and then have some sort of sabotage up. So I mean, like it's a it's a balancing act, Maziem. Like 
you are like watching me play so like you have the inside information to know that i have i have the sweeper but like i don't always have the sweeper like if i end up being in a position where like i just have spot removal like i could punish punish their spot removal their decision um yeah i think i just start on here right I really wish this notion rain was just like another thought erasure. So they're gonna get to resolve the find here, but I think I uh, think that's fine because I have scatter for one of the creatures. Yeah, the fact that there aren't there aren't any like fireballs in their deck is really good for us because like my health total is just a resource that I get to leverage here. But again, you can kind of see um, what I was talking about there with getting getting clunked up. Um, I kind of have a lot of card advantage and like not enough time to actually spend and use it all, basically. <laughs> I mean, like, you can say nice tutu, but I am, I am at six, right? So this is like three turn lethal here. Yeah, yeah, we've played Mono Blue on stream before. You can find it on my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash You can also find it on my website. Click standard decks at the top. We're pretty well locked up at this point. I'm going to get to Chemistry's Insight. I, I've got Scatter for the Doom Whisperer, and then I've got Chemistry's Insight to gas up here, and I'm going to have a Whisperer of my own next turn. I need to find an answer to a threat that they could play off the top, but perfect. I actually get to do this and Doom Whisper here, which is great. All right, in the driver's seat. I feel like this game and playing against the opponent's deck is just like a really good example of like while i think green black is one of the better decks in the format it's very it's very attackable and it definitely underperformed at uh the two grand prix this past weekend because um if you build your deck in the in a correct manner you can definitely leverage yourself leverage a way to punish them thank you for the dollar tip brennan i appreciate that there's my comment Sold a Carney T to one of the wonderful Hoglandias last night. Thought I'd share the wealth. Also want to put the 4X Rainer deck to the top tomorrow. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, I think I'm actually supposed to trim my Doom Boys in this matchup and just bring in the Carnage Tyrants. I think I don't want flying threats that die to things like Vivian. Like, I basically don't want to, like, play my threat and have them untap and play a Planeswalker and kill it. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and board out Notion Rain. Maybe I don't want all these disinformation campaigns. I think Chemistry's Insight and Disinformation Campaign seems fine. I don't mind playing against Green Black at all. I think Green Black's a great deck to have in the format. I think, I think a format where Green Black is the best deck is generally a pretty decent format. Do I want all four suits in this matchup? Maybe I do. What do we what do we think of all four sets? Let's try this. Uh, you don't have to pay a thousand gold to play best of three stamp it. There's a free to play best of three ladder. You have to click the little toggle in the upper right hand corner of your screen, and then there's competitive ladder. The competitive ladder is best of three. That's what I'm playing now. Yeah, zero, zero dollars. Zero, zero dollars and zero cents. Keep the change. Oh, yeah, they're playing Line War Elves too. It's definitely four suits against the Line War Elf builds of green black.
No, I haven't I haven't played a ton of arena off stream. I played a little bit, and most of what I've played off stream has been blue black pirates. So like the decks you see me exploring on stream are mostly pretty much being played all on stream. W world's worst raven crime? <laughs> My friend. I've gotten to kill Plaguecrafter in response to the trigger to discard cards out of their hand. I've not gotten to do it to kill their Planeswalker yet. So the second deck we're playing today is actually a 4x Karn deck. I think Karn's really sweet in this format. All right, Poppy needs land. The ladder basically doesn't advance people. The current ladder is basically impossible to climb up the way it's set up. Our mana being awkward again here. Well, that, that's an easy bar, though, because, like, Little Vresk is really bad. Wow, there was a lot of poop on top of their deck. This card is so good. I can just block my Tyrant with their Tyrants. Also, like, this board state's a great example. Like, Eldest Reborn isn't a good answer to Carnage Tyrant because these it, Elder Reborn isn't a good answer to Carnage Tyrant in deck against decks like what my opponent is playing because the opponent's deck generally has plenty of things to put on the board alongside alongside them. So having like people often suggest that when we're playing like Plaguecrafter and Elder Reborn for the Carnage Tyrant and I think like they're just thinking about Edict versus Hexproof and they're like losing the context of like what these decks are doing. If you want a more consistent answer to Carnage Tyrant, I think you definitely want to be playing something uh, that's a basic forest. This hand might be poop. It might be, might be a little bit doo-doo, chat. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm supposed to swap my cravings for the cast downs in the board for killing demons. That's probably what I'm supposed to do. See, I don't think I've played against almost any mono, mono red on stream or off stream. There's not, not a whole lot. You don't, no, you don't need Detection Tower either. You just have six sixes. I feel like people keep forgetting that, like, Carnage Tyrant's a creature that you can beat in combat. This is this is my answer to Carnage Tyrant. This, this one right here. Or this. Or this, you know? Just, like, we have a lot of, we have a lot of really clean answers to this card. Yeah, Dire Fleet, Dire Fleet Poisoner is also very good. Man, how many lanes are in this deck? We're gonna take a look at the, the mana base and push some of the spells around in this after this match, I think. You can always find a deck list using the exclamation point deck command. Alternatively, there is also the uh, stream decker widget on the stream. Yep. Assume that's going away. I 
I guess that's a good point. I should just take the find. It's a good suggestion. Uh, the stream decker is in a different place when we play with the overlay on, so the stream decker will be on the left side of the screen. It's a little line, you gotta click it and it'll expand the deck list down. All right, let's, uh, no, Vivian Reed is very, very good. Four mana Vraska doesn't generate card advantage on its own is its big issue. There's 26 lands on this deck. All right, I think these Notion Reigns are some hot garbage. I think I want this last Thought Erasure in my main deck, and I think I'm gonna turn my Chemistry's Insight for a couple copies of Discovery. This card's been pretty good when we've played it in the past. All right, then what does that leave my sideboard looking like here? Take a peekaboo at the mana in here. I've got 16, 17, 18 black. I've got 14, I got 13 green. I've got 15 blue. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this forest and an island. Get that up to 16. We're having, having a hard time getting a double blue consistently for sabotage. Honestly, one of the big reasons why Vivian Reed is so good right now is that there's so many good flying creatures in the format at the moment that she's able to consistently be a removal spell while also generating card advantage for you. Yeah, yeah, we have we have 18, 18 black sources. I thought basics for his trophy should be all colors. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, the Grixis Dragon deck seems sweet. If Pirates ends up feeling like it, it has too hard of a time with the green white, with the white mid range decks, I'll probably look into the Grixis Dragons deck. I also have a lot of high hopes for the the blue black artifact deck we're gonna play second today. The blue black artifacts deck seems seems pretty reasonable. I actually think the, the deck list screen on Magic Arena is one of the worst things about it. The the deck editor in Magic Online is like one of the best things about that application. The fact, actually, it, the, the deck editor, I have two primary complaints about the deck editor in Magic Arena and that it would probably be pretty reasonable. The first is that it needs to be able to import from generic text lists, not their stupid proprietary formatted deck list with like set tags and stuff in it. And two, the other thing that their deck editor needs to be able to do, the panels need to be resizable. Like, it's honestly, it's very close. I just don't understand why I can't just like drag my windows, my, my things around to like resize them however I would like them to be. Yes, Arena is very, very good. Yeah. They're aware, they're aware of those things. I agree, I understand. I understand applications have priorities. I'm just being constructive and specific about what I dislike and how it could be improved. Because that's, that's how you give good feedback. You be specific and then detail what you would like changed about it. So it's probably just Find, right? They're playing Abzan. Cause like Find's gonna turn into two cards later. <clears throat> I need some lands. I think the animations do a really good job of being slick while not slowing down the user experience. I don't understand why you'd want to turn off the animations. We've had magic without animations for 15 years. It's called magic online. Let's 
So playing the untapped blue source there means I can't do much for next turn, which feels bad. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and craving this Jade Light Ranger here to like stop stunt these blows a little bit. Perfect. Chemistry's Insight's a great draw because it means if they choose not to play into my Sabotage again this next turn, I can Chemistry's Insight and guess up. For Blue Red Drake Phoenix, sounds good, gamer. Thank you for the bits. I would be very surprised if Arena ever supported Modern or Legacy. I really don't have good lines here. I guess, I guess I can play this tapped. Like they're just gonna like slam this Vivian. I need to just like not die though, right? I could shock, I could shock this in and hold up scatter and it like bluffs the counter spell. But the problem here is that like they're just gonna like slam Vivian on their turn. That's, uh, that's actually kind of okay for us. It means I can do this. Hopefully they'll be forced to contempt here and then I can play Vraska because they won't have the contempt up. Like worst case scenario here is like Chupacabra. Maybe I'm supposed to shock it again to continue holding up Essence Scatter. I don't know, my health total is just so low. The the third color in our mana base has been very, very painful here. Yep. Come to me. No, she's at she's at two. They killed my enchantment, so she can't minus on the Doom Whisper this turn, so like they needed to have a different answer to Doom Whisper that turn. <sighs> Yeah. Okay. So you're saying, so you're saying there's a chance. Now we're getting started. It's gonna bin scatter to this, I think. They're about to get Vivian back. Yeah, I get to Vraska plus sabotage the stern because of the treasure token. Shalele's coming back. Oh, Shalele's really good. They can activate her and then kill Vraska. Yep, that's really unfortunate. <sighs> yep, 
Yeah, yeah, I agree, Goobles. One of the things, and that's one of the things I think feels so awkward about this deck is that um, in the de the deck, the build that I've been playing, that straight blue black, it plays. Um, it plays. Uh, it doesn't play counter spells, so. It feels a little bit better on average. Yep, yep. Standard standard XM website are my, my preferred latest iteration that I've tested. I want to try Rune Raider in there at some point and maybe a price of fame in the sideboard, but as a as a whole, that list on my side is the one that I prefer, yep. You haven't played since Return to Rev. Well, you, you 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 waited till a good time because this is a great format. Yeah, Brace Brace of Fame seems very good against Angels. I agree. Dream Eater is a pretty good draw. I think I'm just passing here. So they have this contempt. So like if I sabotage the contempt, I'm just dead on board. So I guess I have to let the contempt resolve. So like this turn, I get to Dream Eater, bounce the Shalai, trade with the larger knight, and like hope to surveil into something useful. So I'm gonna ask, when will I be playing blue black after this deck? I don't know, probably about a half hour or so. Probably gonna play one more match after this. It's like Soot's not even good enough, right? I guess it like kills this Knight of Autumn, but I don't think it's good enough actually. Dead to any removal here. Dream Eater is playable. I think one of the nice things Dream Eater does today, does in archetypes like this is like, this archetype has a hard time dealing with resolve permanence a lot of the time. So doing that, being able to deal with resolve permanence is nice. Man, are they not replaying Shalai and they're just like playing another, playing two guys? Yeah, now I just feel like really stupid that I didn't keep the ritual listed on top. I just assumed they were gonna replay Shalai so the ritual wasn't gonna be good enough. Feels bad, man. Yeah, yeah, if they replayed July, I was dead on board. That is correct. I mean, I guess dispersal means I'm not dead. It's not, it's not a play I feel good about making, but it means I get another draw step. Mm -hmm. 
what can we draw into it depends on what they play out here so like our sequence what we need to find is going to be hinged upon like what they end up doing it's so like we're going to go to one here and then like Vraska's Contempt and a mix of other things like the disinformation campaign we could hit like runner runner Like, I've got a lot of mana here, and I've got a second draw on this disinformation campaign, so... Maybe that's better. Maybe that puts me in a better spot. It's really annoying that you can't, uh... It's really annoying that you can't configure the hotkeys on Arena. They're always enter and spacebar. Yeah, I think maybe you're right, Pikes, that the play to win line was Discovery for a set. I think we're mostly dead to rights now. I need to draw, like, Soot plus removal spell. Seems really fitting that we like died with the counter spell in our hand. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think the counter spells this archetype are just like really bad. So like I'm gonna go ahead and take a hot second to Oh that, that was game one. Alright, we'll finish this match, but I'm gonna board the counter spells out actually. I think they just like feel pretty rancid and I just wanna like play to the board. Basically after after we finish this, I'm gonna leave in strokes because they're cheaper and they cover more expensive things. Am I maybe I don't know. I actually don't know. But the counter spells in general feel really clunky and awkward. Like, we're this deck that like wants to be tapping out to like cast rituals of soot. Why would I want cast down? Their their big threat was uh, was what's it called? Uh, Eldest Reborn seems really bad against Light of Autumn. Yeah, you build it as tap out control basically. So the the blue black deck we have that I've uh, that Matt and I have been working on like with the blood operatives is a tap out control deck, and I think that's just like the better direction to take this blue black base. Like you have these thought erasures, Excuse me, you can play duress out of the sideboard. I think like some negates and some strokes in the sideboard is fine, but your mana gets better not playing sinister sabotage as well because then you don't have double blue cards in your deck. That's a and that's a big consideration in these three color decks. Like not needing double blue is a big deal. Yeah, exactly. You build it, build it like a Jun deck. Tap out, tap out control. See, I'm just like never gonna find a second land and die. Third land and die. Hey, Wacken, thank you very much for the prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome. Thanks for keeping me employed this month with that. Yeah, the arena numbers ramp up pretty quickly. Usually we've been. I wasn't, I wasn't going to do Arena at the end of yesterday's stream, and then we did a little bit, and we ended up bumping up to over 1,600 by the time I was done. Disinformation Campaign's a great draw here, especially on a mulligan. It's the type of card that can allow us to kind of pull back in from the card disadvantage. We just had a lot of awkwardness, Brecken, with how how our things have been lining up into theirs. And a lot of it has been because of the sequencing decisions I've been forced to make based on the counter spells. And our opponents have also been playing very well. Like when I've been passing with counter magic up, my opponents have been like, all right, I have stuff on board. I don't need to play into this counter spell. Go. I've been getting like supremely punished. That's just confirmation bias and bread. It's funny all the people that have like never played digital magic before that are like commenting on the shuffler in arena. Um, one of the things as humans is that confirmation bias is a really a real thing. And as humans, we tend to remember things that are negative that happen to us more than things that are good. So like, even though you're flooding and uh, screwing a proportionate amount of the time, it sticks with you more because it feels bad when it happens. You're not wrong, Team Darkwater. One of the many things that makes Arena better to watch. I just, I just, I just can never win, right? Would you like to see? 
see what's left. Wild animals I like. Sometimes restoration means retribution. Like, I need to trophy this, but then they get to Carnage Tyrant me, and like, I can trade Carney Tees at some point, but like, I'm at nine, and like, they have two Memorial to Folly, so my one Memorial to Folly, they have, they have two Unknowns in their hand, plus their draw step. I just feel like really far behind. Seth, you should just post your question in the subs discord. I'm sure people there would be happy to help myself included later. So like, I'm gonna trade dino for dino here, but I'm like, I'm taking four and just like, I'm still super far behind. Are you not attacking with this? I think not attacking with this is pretty wrong. I'm very obligated to trade here. Uh, the five color control deck looks like it's great at uh, beating mid-range decks and people that don't know what's going on. In our experience last time we played it, it felt very bad against both very aggressive decks and control decks. I'm like, I just can't, I can't even <laughs> dream eater either of their creatures to just have extra the battlefield effects. Uh... Really enjoying your stream, learning a lot from it. Thanks, thank you for the two month three sub, Evan. I appreciate that, welcome back. And Rev Ginger, thank you very much for the brand new tier one sub. Welcome to everybody, got almost a thousand people here already. We've only been up for an hour. Thanks for hanging out today. We're playing a bunch of standard all day today on Magic Arena. Um, this, this deck felt clunky and awkward. Um, the, the mix of these instant speed cards alongside with a bunch of these elements that encourage me to want to tap out just felt really really pretty pretty medium um if i wanted to compare this to something it would be the blue black operative deck that i've been playing in standard and i think something like this is a better approach to blue black i think you could experiment with splashing green into a deck like this but looking at like the card selection in this deck and how basically our only things that are instants are our removal spells that we can play in our turn a lot of the time anyways I think um, this type of configuration is, in general, a little bit more ideal. So I would I would focus more and playing into the tap out and leaning into that rather than playing this mix of like sweepers and counter spells and stuff like that.